Now, though, it's time for some food. We're joined by Donal in the kitchen, and um, this is always the worst thing. You'll get, you, we're given this during the commercial break, <laughs> like the finished thing, and we've got to wait until now. It's like torch. This is part of the to process. Jump in. A bit of resistance, you know. I don't want to spoil it. So. What have we what got? Have you made? This is lemon cur curd pudding. And basically, the beauty of this is that it's all store cupboard ingredients. You probably, if you, you, if you had this in your house tonight, you could probably make this. So okay. the only thing that you kind of have to add to your shopping list is a jar of lemon curd, cheap as chips. Have it in the, in the store cupboard so you have it for over ice cream, over mm -hmm. all sorts of different desserts. But it is the core ingredient of this I one. Now, the beauty of this method is that it is an all-in-one uh, batter. So, softened butter. Do not attempt to do this unless you have softened butter, because otherwise it's just going to be an absolute mess. And yeah. you can do this with a hand mixer, or you can do this by hand. It's totally up to you. Uh, sugar, butter, all goes in, and like I said, all in one. Oh, that was quite stuck there. Uh, <laughs> smack on the arse. Um, little egg going in. Little egg. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that. It's, it's been fine. sitting there too long. Helps. It's fine. It's a delight. <laughs> a smack on the arse. Anyway, uh, lemon curd pudding is very easy to make. Yep. <laughs> uh, two eggs go in and then you've got your flour. And like I said, all in one. I'd actually give it a quick mix first. Um, but also the zest of the lemon is what's going to bring this Real to life, OK? So um, I actually noticed a lot of people are doing this with these. Have you seen these little yeah. graters? I've, I've always done this. But oh. actually, if you do this, you keep it all in the one place. And then once you're finished, you just go... Oh my god! And tap it in. No mess on the I, I do your way. I've always done it like this it's and so made a mess all over. It's so things like that out. Know, little satisfying tips. Um, find that uh, if you have like uh, two lemons to go through, it's very easy to add That's it in. That's very good. Little tip. I didn't think I was going to be sharing that no, today, but here it. we are. Um, so give that a little zest. Two lemons, three lemons if you have them, stick them in. Um, if you can get those lovely kind of um, not kind of waxy Wax ones, ones, you know, yeah. that's the really key here. But look, any lemon will do the job. So it's going to give you that power punch of flavour. I don't know if you can taste that. That really. I'm going yeah. in. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. It really so good. much so that I'm nearly a quarter of the way through there already. <laughs> well, it helps that there's clotted cream with this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's amazing. Yep. Isn't it lovely? That is yeah. so lemonly. Lemonly? Lemonly. Lemonly. That was, a lemonly. Mixture. Lemonly. That was a mixture of lemon and lovely. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It is lemonly. Lemonly. Oh, it's, it's a lemon leaf pudding. <laughs> my lemon leaf pudding. I'll be renaming it on my website. <laughs> yes, <me too. laughs> no, but it is. It's, you know, the power punch of that. And the beauty of this being an all-in-one batter is that you could literally uh, change that up as you want. You know, they do fancy lemon curd. Or they do all sorts of fancy curds these days. So it really is up to you, you know, what you use. What you want to put in it. Exactly. And you could do this with, um, you could easily do this with blueberries through it. You could do it with orange zest, lime zest, make it a bit of exotic. Yeah. So many, many options here. So once that butter is sort of softened, it's very easy to mix by hand. You're going in with a little bit of baking powder and you're going in with your flour once you've kind of mixed that down. So the beauty of this is if you have a hand mixer, you will do this in literally seconds. Can I ask you a question? Please. What's the difference between baking powder and what's the other one you put in? Bicarbonate? Bicarbonate soda. What, are they the same? No. So bicarbonate soda, a very good question, Holly. Thanks very much. I always <laughs> think it when I read it in a recipe and, I'm, and I never ask. So I it's a good question. Else. Bicarbonate soda reacts to an acid. So that's why sometimes like with an Irish soda bread, you use um, buttermilk. That's your acid and that gives you the rise. Uh -huh. Whereas baking powder works with any liquid. So it depends. And sometimes you'll see recipes I'm not that sure use I both. Still understand. Are you still confused? <laughs> I saw a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> what would I oh yeah. Do I do it slower? <laughs> little bit. It was just, what acid would it be? It, what... So like lemon juice and uh, bicarbonate would, would react. Which is why you're putting Which is why we're adding it in here. But Got you it. could use baking okay. powder and it'll still do the job. So I mean there's you know, it's it's not an exact science, but with but you know something like with soda. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. So it's it's acid with bicarb. That's what you need to remember. Okay. Acid with bicarb. And um, so give that a good mix through, and then basically it looks like a tiny amount of batter, but don't be put off by this. This is going to fill up your uh, your tin, and it'll all be grand. Mm -hmm. So a uh, little bit of vanilla extract if you have it, and uh, if you have that fancy stuff with the vanilla bean paste, you get those little mm -hmm. pops of the seeds. Well, um, so look, as I said, a very basic batter once you get it to this stage. Mm -hmm. The beauty of this, if you're going to do this for your like fry. You you know, Saturday night or Saturday dinner or Sunday dinner. What I like to do is make it up in advance and stick it in the fridge. So you have it all made up. And when you've served your main course, Take it, out of the, uh, take it out of the fridge and pop on the oven. And at that stage, you're going to pop it. Uh, once you've cleared the... the, yeah. the t I'm really tr struggling to get through my Sunday dinner yeah. here. But yeah. basically, once you've had the Sunday dinner yeah. and you've <laughs> you you cleared the plate, the... put it in the oven. What 
uh, so that's just to warm it up. It's to no, it's going to cook it through, yeah, but it only takes it fifteen minutes. Right. Okay. So the beauty is that it, you literally have something that's ready to rock. Freshly baked. And officially baked. So like, so and you you're looking. It, you put it, it like in this state yeah. into the fridge. <laughs> I was really clear about that, Phil. Wasn't it's it? fine. <laughs> no, no, no. Just clarify. Yeah. So at this stage, stick yeah. it in the fridge, and then you're going to spread it across, and then literally, as you're ready to serve, as you're ready to bake, you're going to pop it into the oven, and it only takes fifteen minutes. I see what you mean there, because yeah. look, that looks like a tiny bit. Not of a lot. Batter. You'd be like, oh, I need to make a double quantity. Exactly, but we have that raising ingredient, yeah. whether the bicarb or the baking Which soda. Which lovely with the acid in the lemon. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, now, last little touch. Lemon curd, this is where it comes into play. So you're going to pop dollops of this and you're going to pop it around. And the trick here is to get a lovely little swirl over the top. So get that on top and basically you're going to use a little uh, stick like this. Give it a little swirl. It makes it look fancy. It makes it look like you've gone to loads of effort. But actually you've just used a few store coated ingredients and you got an amazing dessert. Mm. Goes mm. into the oven, 15 minutes. Now the trick here is what I would say is you really want to keep your eye on it. Don't like 15 minutes is fine, but it's all down to the wobble. If you've got the wobble, you've got that oozing action. You so you're safe wobble. to take it out. Uh, so yeah, it's at this be... point now, this is exactly it. So it's like it's a very light. This sponge, is where isn't it? we were kind of we were very oh, nervous yeah. about the timing on this to make yeah. sure we had it right. But once you get it to this stage, you have cut in here. Oh, and there's a this. wobble. There is a bit of a wobble. I actually don't have my bowl, but we have it here. Look at this. Oozing, gorgeous in the middle. And you might say it's undercooked, but for me, with a little bit of lemon curd over the top and a bit of cream or custard or even a bit of clotted cream, that is a pudding that is so easy. It's mm. a bit of bit lack of fuss, but so, so good. And it's really nice. Yeah. It's, it's a really fresh pudding. Absolutely delicious. Well, there you go. Tasty, yeah. yeah. Have you, you, what, you've nearly eaten the whole thing there, Phil. I know. Phil. I know. <laughs> well, you were so you busy chatting about... I know, I couldn't shut up about the so Sunday dinner. Right, there was a big dollop on it. Oh, right, I was going to yeah. say, I thought you missed No, no, I just thought, while well, they're going on about bicarbonate of soda <laughs> and baking powder and acid, I'm just going to eat my pud. <laughs> dead <laughs> rice, dead rice. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Great Stunning. You Thank you. I'm going to have a bit more now. You put it in front of me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, right, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.